top five contestant Emmy Russell acknowledges the stakes are higher, but... It gets less intimidating because you feel loved and accepted already. Because you've been there. Like, you're like, dang, I'm top five. Like, that, that, that is a pat on the back. One of the producers was telling me it's anyone's game. You like... One of them was saying, you know, we used to be able to predict this in seasons past, but every week it's been someone different, so everyone just has to vote. Next week is the popular Disney night at American Idol, with country star Kane Brown mentoring the top five. In Hollywood, George Pinocchio for ABC News. Disney night, count me in. I'm excited for that one. Well, right now on Good Morning Northwest, coming up in this hour, a Kennewick man who's guilty of 11 counts of rape learns his fate, the sentence handed down for his crimes. And a local animal rescue closing its doors for taking in more unwanted pets. The difficulties facing the shelters and rescues in our region and what you can do to help. And after nearly a week on the run, Washington's famous zebra is finally caught where the mayor is headed to next. And is the rain moving out of the region? Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has those answers in that full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Dalal. The time is 6 a.m. on this Monday, May 6th. We'll check in now on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, we had a lot of rain yesterday. I'm hoping we don't have any more for today. What can you tell us? We do have lower chances today, Jessica. So today, not nearly as wet as yesterday. It's nice to get a break on our first alert radar because it was quite busy during the day yesterday. In fact, several of our bigger cities broke their daily rainfall records. That's pretty impressive. And we'll have an update on how much rain we saw in your city coming up in just a bit. But things are quiet on our first alert radar. I don't think that's going to be the case this afternoon, though. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s. Way more 40s, though, on the map compared to 30s. It's 48 in Tri-Cities, 44 in Hermiston, 37 in Prosser, 38 in Yakima, and 47 at Hanford, 46 degrees in Toppenish. The winds are already up out of the south and west between about 10 and 20 miles per hour, and we could see gusts as high as 40 miles per hour today. So it's breezy this morning. It's going to turn windy this afternoon and for the evening commute. So make sure you take that jacket with you today. Take the jacket with a hood because you don't want the umbrella for the windy conditions. And there could be some spotty showers, maybe even a few rumbles, rumbles of thunder for some of you later on this afternoon and early this evening. Now we will start to warm things up. We'll let you know when it'll feel more like summer and we'll also have an update on those weekend rain totals coming up in a bit. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And starting off your top headlines, the Central Basin investigative team has released the name of the man who was involved in a shooting in Moses Lake over the weekend. Authorities say 37-year-old Zachary Stockton is facing charges in the shooting at the Moses Lake Motel 6. This happened Saturday just before 8.30 p.m. Officers with the Moses Lake Police Department were called to the motel for a report of a fight. And when officers got on the scene, they say Stockton started shooting at them. They say they shot back. One officer was hit by gunfire and Stockton was also hit. Both of them were taken to the hospital. The officer underwent surgery and is in recovery. Stockton was treated, released and taken to the Grant County Jail. The investigation in, into the shooting is being handled by the CBIT. And a Kennewick man will spend the rest of his life in prison after being found guilty of 11 counts of rape in the first degree and other charges. 28-year-old Brandon Jones has been sentenced to 226 years in prison. He was also found guilty of six counts of robbery and four counts of attempted robbery. Each one of those counts had extended jail time because the prosecutors say Jones used a firearm while committing the crime. Prosecutors praise the bravery of the testimonies from 10 of Jones's victims, saying they had talked about the most terrifying moments of their lives in front of Jones during the three-week trial. And the Richland Police Department is asking for your help in finding the driver responsible for hitting a man with their car and leaving the scene. This happened Sunday morning just after 1.30 on Columbia Center Boulevard and Tap Teal Drive. Authorities say a person driving their car hit a man then took off from the area. The man was found in the road and suffering severe injuries, including a head injury. 
He was taken to a nearby hospital. And if you have any information on what happened, call dispatch at the number on your screen. That's 509-628-0333. And area law enforcement agencies want you to be aware of several phone scams that are being reported around the region. The scammers are calling, telling people they missed jury duty. The caller then says in order to get it cleared up, the person must pay thousands of dollars. Another scam is the warrant scam where callers tell people they have an active warrant for their arrest and they must pay money or face being arrested. Reminder to never give any financial information over the phone. Law enforcement agencies never ask for money over the phone when it comes to warrants or jury duty. Simply just hang up. A regional animal rescue organization says it cannot take on any more pets at this time due to space and volunteers. Mikey's Chan says it's struggling to keep its doors open and says the team there is mentally and physically exhausted. If you or you've seen this group featured on our Operation Best Friends segment, the Animal Rescue says it can't take in any more pets. It just doesn't have the space or the volunteers to handle more than it what it has now. And the rescue says trying to come up with the money to pay boarding and vet bills is leaving it drained of resources. The group says it needs help and could use people to volunteer and foster animals in its care or people who will adopt and not shop for their pet. Also, the Yakima Humane Society needs your help. Animal shelters around the region are feeling the pinch when it comes to space, and that means with every animal they take in, and they need the means to take care of them. Yakima Humane Society says food donations are very much needed right now, especially for its pet pantry. It operates strictly off donations, and the shelter has noticed a recent drop. We're been doing it for a number of years. We're really excited to continue to support the community as many are struggling to provide for themselves. So it can be hard to get food for their animals. Our pet pantry is completely public donations. So any donations we get from the public go right back into the community. And the shelter will now be open seven days per week. They added Sundays. And in case you missed this, Shug, the famous Washington zebra that was on the loose, has been found and it's on its way to Montana. The mayor was one of four zebras that had escaped from a trailer off Interstate 90 near North Bend last Sunday. The other three were captured within a few hours, but Shug remained on the loose. Officials say Shug was finally found Friday evening in Riverbend, which is about 30 miles from Seattle. Officials say Shug is in good condition and is on her way to join the other zebras in Montana. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, South Dakota's governor is doubling down. Why Christy Nome won't apologize for killing her dog and the latest comments where she suggests a piece of advice for President Biden on his own. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. This Memorial Day at Furniture Row, we're prepping for saving so big, they're backing them in by the truckload. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out doorbusters while they last. Plus six years, no interest. The Memorial Day Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. Dishwasher on the fritz. Laundry, giving you fits. A water heater that quits. In a world without Culligan, hard water makes life harder. Get a Culligan softer, the world's best. Put your water worries to rest. Things you'll hear on Jeopardy Masters this season. Who is Aquinas? What is Cuneo for? What's potty training? <laughs> Six all-time greats, one incredible tournament. I'm the final boss. This is what I do. <laughs> Jeopardy Masters primetime event continues tonight on ABC. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to experience the clairvoyance. Friday, June 21st, Legends Casino Hotel Toppenish. Featuring never-before-seen mental magic and spectacular illusions. With a special appearance by Mr. Coney Hondini, the world's first mind-reading dog. Friday, June 21st, 8 p.m., Legends Casino Hotel Toppenish. Tickets at Ticketmaster and Legends Casino Gift Shop. Experience the clairvoyance live. And now a joke from Yolk's Fresh Market. What do you call chips that aren't yours? Nacho chips. <laughs> <laughs> Prosser Digestive Health Center is now offering gastroenterology services daily, including weekends. 
Board certified gastroenterologist Dr. Jack Brandeber provides the full spectrum of digestive health care. His services include colon cancer screenings, treatment for swallowing problems, inflammatory bowel disease, liver disorders, and more. To schedule an appointment, call Prosser Digestive Health Center at 509 786 5599 or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. This lake is a trout lake. It's time to get ready for fishing. It's a great fly fishing lake. A lot of wildlife, otters, beavers, blue herons. Fly the Northwest over Fish Trap Lake. Yeah, it's awesome. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. This Memorial Day at Furniture Row, we're prepping for savings so big, they're backing them in by the truckload. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Check out doorbusters while they last. Plus six years, no interest. The Memorial Day Super Sale, on now at Furniture Row. This newscast sponsored by Washington State Department of Revenue's Working Families Tax Credit. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. No apologies, that South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem's mission. The potential vice presidential contender is once again defending killing her puppy for bad behavior. Reporter Allison Kosick says Noem has that kind of advice for President Biden. This morning, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem, considered a possible contender for Donald Trump's running mate, is doubling down on the disclosure in her new memoir that she shot and killed her puppy named Cricket for attacking livestock and posing a danger to people. And I had put months and months of training into this dog. This dog had gone to other trainers as well. All of that shows that when you put someone in a position where they have to make a a decision and they want to protect their family and protect children and other people from getting yeah. attacked. In an interview yesterday, Noam going further, saying President Biden's dog, Commander, should meet the same fate after attacking Secret Service personnel. So how many people is enough people to be attacked and dangerously hurt before you make a decision on a dog? Noam has faced backlash from both sides of the aisle for her dog killing story. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich among those saying the story has ended any possibility of Noam being chosen as VP candidate. The so called Veep stakes ramping up over the weekend as Noam joined potential running mates in a gathering at Mar a Lago, including Florida Senator Marco Rubio and South Carolina Senator Tim Scott, who faced questions yesterday about potentially teaming up with Trump. You, of course, did vote to certify the 2020 election results, and you've said, quote, it was not stolen. Why would you join a ticket with someone who believes the exact opposite on this critical point? Well, I think we have to listen to what President Trump said and not what the reporters said that he actually said. She also claimed in her memoir that she met North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, a claim that was questioned by a South Dakota newspaper. Noam now says that anecdote should not have been included in the book. Also, what better way to bring a divided America together than man's best friend? A bipartisan group of lawmakers has launched the Congressional Dog Lovers Caucus, or as some have dubbed it, a Pawkus. The new caucus comes in response to South Dakota Governor Nome's killing of her dog. Congressman Jared Moskowitz announced the new caucus, tweeting, This group dedicated to man's best friend aims to foster bipartisan cooperation and will help put paws over politics. Coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, we take a look at some of the severe weather hitting the country. The massive flood levels in Texas it hasn't seen since Hurricane Harvey. But up first, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert full forecast. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Did you just see that bird? That was so cute. When you need legal help, trust Quantum Legal. We're here for you in times of trouble, whether you need assistance with criminal defense, personal injury, or have been injured on the job. Law is a complicated matter. Our team of experts will fight for you and help you find the best solution for your situation. Don't let life's challenges get the best of you. We're here to help. Call us today at 509-783-5551 or visit our website at quantumlegal.com. A manhunt for a substitute teacher accused of killing and kidnapping. A paraeducator accused of being inappropriate with a student. The more boundaries I put up, the more you kind of push it. Do we need better pre-employment screenings for school employees? Protecting our kids. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Wednesday. Next five, Tom Selleck and Lisa Rinna. Plus, we celebrate that very special someone as I Love Mom Week kicks off. 
Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Bad sleep? The worst. There's really no excuse for bad sleep. During the Memorial Day Super Sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every 1000 you spend and watch the savings stack up. Or check out the Summit Easy on the Wallet for only $299.99. Save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, plus six years no interest and free shipping. The Memorial Day Super Sale, on now at Denver Mattress. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all electric. Whether it's towing, powering up, or getting from zero to 60 in 3.8 seconds, what you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Get 1.9% for 72 months on an F-150 and up to 15,000 total savings on an F-150 Lightning. Only at your local Ford dealer. Category. Things you'll hear on Jeopardy! Masters this season. Who is Aquinas? What is Cuneo for? What's vulcanization? What's potty training? Which terrifying possibility will it be? <laughs> <laughs> Six of the greatest minds to ever take the Jeopardy! stage compete for half a million dollars. You're both slightly competitive humans. And the title of Jeopardy! Masters champion. You feel like to win Jeopardy! Masters, it's going to have to go through you? That is how a final boss works, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> Jeopardy! Masters primetime event continues tonight on ABC and stream on Hulu. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It was a wet weekend and most of the rain that fell was during the day yesterday and it really added up across the region. Check out these rainfall totals, very impressive. It has been months since we've seen rain totals this high, especially over a two day period. So in Pendleton, we saw 1.81 inches of rain just over the weekend. Walla Walla, about an inch and a half, almost an inch and a half in Hermiston, Tri-Cities, a little bit above a half an inch. And we did expect those totals to be lower across the Columbia Basin. We wish we saw a little bit more in Yakima, but unfortunately that total came in under a quarter of an inch. But almost everyone broke their daily rainfall record for yesterday's date, which was May 5th. That was the case in Pendleton, Walla Walla, Hermiston, and Tri-Cities. The exception was in Yakima, where we really didn't see too much in the way of rain this weekend. So pretty incredible stuff there. As we take a live look out of our Dust Devil Sky Cam in Pasco, you do see some cloud cover out there, but we're partly cloudy. There is some sunshine to start off the day, and you won't need that umbrella this morning, but you may need it later on today. But with the wind, you may opt to take a jacket with a hood instead of the umbrella. Temperatures are in the 30s and 40s right now, so a bit milder where the wind is a little bit stronger this morning. 48 in Tri-Cities, it's 47 in Connell, it's 40 degrees in Dayton, 44 in Walla Walla, and upper 30s in the Yakima Valley. Winds are the strongest right now in the Columbia Basin. You can see they're anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour, a little bit lighter along the foothills of the Blues, a little bit lighter in the Yakima Valley. But these winds are really going to crank up this afternoon. In fact, it is going to be a windy Monday for you. So it's a two hand on the steering wheel kind of day as you're heading in this morning. But at least you won't have any rain to slow down your morning commute. As we go into the late morning, early afternoon hours, you see a couple of showers start to pop up. That'll be the case as we go mostly cloudy. And most of the activity will be across Northeast Oregon and along the foothills of the Blues. So Hermiston, Hepner, Pendleton, Walla Walla, you'll be the areas that have a that will have the best chance for seeing rain today. Otherwise, Tri-Cities, Yakima, Connell, Sunnyside, it will be a bit more scattered in nature. And we could even hear a few rumbles of thunder later on this afternoon. High temperatures on the cool side, and it will be a windy day. Like I mentioned, wind gusts could get as high as 40 miles per hour today, 66 in Tri-Cities, only in the upper 50s along the foothills of the Blues, and then low to middle 60s across the Yakima Valley. Tonight, the showers will really start to wind down as that piece of upper level energy 
passes right overhead. Even though the snow continues for the higher elevations of the Blues and the Cascades, that is where we have winter weather advisories in effect. So keep that in mind. If you are going to be traveling later today or even overnight, you'll want to check those pass reports as the snow levels will drop. Four to ten feet, or not feet, inches of snow above 4,500 feet along the higher elevations of the Blues. Three to eight inches above 4,000 feet. And remember, the snow levels will be dropping tonight with some higher totals above 5,000 feet. So tonight, temperatures drop into the 30s and 40s. Still breezy out there. And then tomorrow, we'll see highs in the mid to upper 60s. So we'll see a gradual warm up and then the warm up really spikes as we head toward the end of the week and into the weekend. Look at that. We could put hot on that seven day forecast, 86 Saturday, 88 on Sunday. Pretty incredible. Yakima 64 today, 65 and breezy tomorrow. 70s return Wednesday. And then yes, we're talking about several days in the 80s by the end of the weekend. Walla Walla 58 with scattered showers, maybe even a few storms today, 60 tomorrow. And then we have 80s by the weekend. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany, and we saw some record rainfall here, but there's historic flooding in Texas. The rain may have stopped, but rivers are rising. Andrew Jimbert says there's a new weather threat to the north today. Take a look. This morning, the catastrophic flooding in Texas turning deadly south of Fort Worth. Police in Johnson County say two adults and a four-year-old boy were in a vehicle hit by fast-moving flood water. A witness says all three trying to get out were swept away. The adults survived. The boy's body was found hours later. It, it puts the fear of God in you. Parts of southeast Texas received two feet of rain in just a matter of days. The area from Beaumont to College Station seeing 800% of its normal rainfall. It's a kick in the, in the, in the knee. We'll just, we'll just say that. More than 200 people have been rescued so far in Harris County outside of Houston. This man and his three dogs saved by police on jet skis in water 10 feet deep. The storms have passed for now, but local rivers could be swollen for days. Now the attention turns to the plains, bracing for possible tornadoes today from Oklahoma to Nebraska. I was really, really scared. A nine-year-old Oklahoma boy is being hailed a hero for saving his parents when a recent tornado hit. As soon as I went to go get help, I said, don't die. Branson Baker and his parents were driving to a storm shelter late last month when they say the EF4 tornado tossed their truck into a pile of trees. His parents suffered serious injuries, but Branson was uninjured in the back seat, so he ran about one mile to get help. For him to run as fast as he did, as hard as he did, he's a very courageous son. For a nine-year-old boy, not many adults would have done what he did. Andrew Dimber, ABC News, New York. That story really tugs on the heartstrings. As for today's storm, Oklahoma is once again in the bullseye, including Oklahoma City. But southern Kansas could see the most severe threat for tornadoes. And keep it here. We'll keep you updated on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Also, when we return on Good Morning Northwest, if you have one of these in your home, are you aware of the health risks? What health officials are saying about gas and propane stoves that is up next. Next ET. I'm unroastable. Let's go. Everything you didn't see from the Tom Brady roast. I've had a lot of great experiences in my life. This is certainly another one. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. The Pacific Clinic is a health, sports, and medical campus in Kennewick now accepting new patients for primary care. We offer patient-specific solutions for physical, mental, and emotional health concerns. You'll receive quality one-on-one -on -one time with our medical professionals and experienced support team. Begin your new health plan with today's best technologies and facilities for the whole family. Play hard, live well at the PC. Call us at 509-783-5465 today. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. Plus the year's best deals, like 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at gokubota.com. Right now, save big at Meredith Furniture. Buy one recliner and get the second one free. With recliners on sale as low as $5.99 and the second one free. 
Choose from many different styles and colors. Come into the store for more details. Prices like this won't last forever. Relax in comfort with not just one, but two recliners. That's right. You don't want to miss this buy one, get one free event at Meredith Furniture. While supplies last. Meredith Furniture on South First in Washington, right next to Hobby Lobby. Navigating a real estate transaction can be overwhelming, from finding the right property to navigating the closing process. That's why a successful real estate transaction requires a team of professionals. At Windermere, our team consists of experienced realtors to guide you through the process, an in-house marketing team to maximize your home's exposure, transaction coordinators to ensure accuracy throughout the transaction, and a network of local industry experts. With Windermere on your side, you can have peace of mind and confidence in your real estate journey. Next extra, J-Lo is ready for her Met Gala moment. My all-new interview with Jennifer just hours before the ball. How she's putting the final touches on her fit. Next extra. Tonight at 7.30 on Apple Valley News Now. This newscast sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest and your health headlines. New research shows gas and propane stoves may be hazardous to your health. Researchers say gas stoves produce unsafe levels of nitrogen dioxide. Researchers say people get 75% of their yearly limit for nitrogen dioxide from a gas stove, and electric stoves, meanwhile, do not produce nitrogen dioxide emissions. Health officials say breathing air with high levels of nitrogen dioxide can cause respiratory problems, including asthma. And President Biden is extending Affordable Care Act coverage to include Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, or DACA, recipients. In a new federal regulation, the administration is modifying the definition of lawfully present so thousands of DREAMers can get access to certain health care coverage. DACA allows undocumented immigrants brought to the U.S. as children to live and work legally in the country. Health and Human Services estimates that 100,000 uninsured DACA recipients will likely take advantage of the new rule. And this takes effect November 1st. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest, she gave Senator Patty Murray a good run in 2022. Now Tiffany Smiley has her eyes set on 2024. Find out what district she's running for. And even with protests, college campuses continue with graduation ceremonies. All that and more when we come back. Indulge in Legends Casino's seafood buffet experience. Discover a feast of premium crab legs, succulent shrimp, and an array of delectable ocean-inspired dishes. Elevate your evenings with Legends Seafood Buffet every Thursday and Saturday starting at 4 p.m. For 25 years, GMA's Breakfast in Bed has supersized the joy of Mother's oh Day. Oh my goodness. And now this week. Hey, who's ready for breakfast in bed? Bam! Only on. Good morning, America. Happy 25 years of Breakfast, breakfast in, in Bed. bed. Did you know that maintaining your oral hygiene not only ensures your teeth and gums are in good health, but also ensures that you are free from disease-causing bacteria? These same bacteria are found in blood clots of people who have recently suffered heart attacks. Biomarkers from these oral bacteria can be found in up to 50% of the clots taken from these victims. Now more than ever, oral health is directly related to your overall health. Trust the team of experts at Avanti Dental. Our friendly team is ready to help you have a brighter, healthier future. Spring is my favorite time of year. I love when I can finally bring my garden back to life. Having a healthy and thriving garden is just one of those little things that brings me so much joy. A reliable truck that can handle my to-do list is essential, and it really does make the job easier. Come see us today and feel the power of Pingree. Summer's here, and with a new Toyota, you can start it with a splash. With a play date at a park. <laughs> or at a party with friends. Or at an epic water balloon fight. Gotcha. Right now, you can lease a new 2024 Camry for just $3.29 a month. See your local Toyota dealer or visit toyota.com to learn more. Your summer starts here. Toyota, let's go places. Sometimes it's hard to see past the looming repair and replacement costs all around your house. Finally, you can stop seeing money and start saving money with First American Home Warranty. First American covers the systems and appliances you depend on every day. 
air conditioning, refrigerator, washer and dryer, electrical, plumbing, and more. If there's one guarantee in home ownership, it's that things are going to break down. When an appliance or system breaks down, First American sends a trusted contractor to fix it. And if they can't fix it, they will replace it. Members pay low monthly rates with unlimited claims and 24-7 customer service. We've saved thousands of dollars that we've been able to reinvest into our home. All plans include a no-questions-asked money-back guarantee and flexible payment options so you can never pay for covered repairs again. Call 1-800-209-8578. That's 1-800-209-8578. Call now. Looking for a great fishing hole? Fly the Northwest, Tuesday at 6. Right now in Good Morning Northwest, the Tri-Cities Airport says it's seeing more passengers than ever. We tell you the numbers and why the airport has a lot to look forward to. And the federal government says it's working on a plan to make flying safer and get air traffic controllers back in the towers. What the plan is so far. Also, a new entertainment hotspot opens in the Tri-Cities. What you can expect to find at the area's largest indoor mini golf course and why the whole family can get involved. Plus, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. The time is 6.30 on Monday, May 6th. We'll check in now on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, we had some record rainfall in the region, but what are we seeing today? More rain, maybe? Yeah, I think we are going to see a few more showers, but nothing like what we saw yesterday. We're not talking about widespread, steady rain like what we saw on Sunday. It's going to be much more scattered and it will be lighter out there. In fact, there's nothing going on right now. So as you head off to work, as you're getting the kids off to school, you will be experiencing dry weather outside. However, like I mentioned, there is that chance for a few hit or miss showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder later on today. It's 48 right now in Tri-Cities, 44 Walla Walla, 40 in Dayton, 47 in Connell, 38 degrees in Yakima. So it's not quite as cold in areas that are seeing a little bit more wind. And that is the case across much of the Columbia Basin where those winds are out of the south and west, averaging out anywhere between 10 and 20 miles per hour. A little bit lighter along the foothills of the Blues a little bit lighter across the Yakima Valley, but those winds are gonna crank up for everyone later today. We could see wind gusts as high as 40 miles per hour. So we have a lot of wind to contend with, and as the kids are heading off to catch the bus, they will need that lighter jacket. We're partly to mostly cloudy today. The chance for those showers going up by the afternoon hours. So maybe just give them the sweatshirt with a hood in case they run into some of those showers. But the rain that falls today will be on the light side. We'll start to dry things out starting tomorrow and we have a big warm up on the way. We'll tell you when temperatures could get close to 90 degrees coming up in a little bit. Jessica. Thank you, Tiffany. And new this morning, Pasco native Tiffany Smiley, who ran against Senator Patty Murray in the 2022 election, is now seeking a seat in Congress. Smiley announced this morning she's running for Washington's 4th Congressional District. The district covers parts of eight counties, including Benton, Franklin, Yakima, and Grant. She says she wants to fight for veterans and their families as a top priority. She also says she'll be t a tireless advocate for conservative policies like limited government, fiscal responsibility, and individual freedom. And there's more good news from the Tri-Cities Airport. The quarter one statistics for 2024 have been released, and during the first three months of 2024, approximately 103,000 passengers boarded a plane at PSC, and this is a 12% increase over 2023's Q1 numbers, which ended up being the busiest year on record. You know, last year was the first year where we were at 2019, so now we're starting to see that that growth um, in our market that was kind of suppressed for for a few years due to um, COVID. You know, good things are happening. We're filling the planes. People are, are flying again and um, they're, they're choosing to fly out of us than um, rather than other airports. And this news comes as just last week, Alaska Airlines announced they'll begin nonstop service from Tri-Cities to LAX starting October 1st.
And Congress is hoping to address the nation's shortage of air traffic controllers and reduce runway safety risks. The bill would allocate money to the FAA and the NTSB, as well as force the airline industry to make big changes that could positively impact passengers. Jen Sullivan reports these changes could come ahead of a very busy travel season. Congress is pushing to make airplane travel safer. Lawmakers are hoping to pass a federal aviation administration reauthorization deal by May 10th. That's when the current temporary law expires. Both parties have every reason in the world to get FAA done as quickly as possible. The bill would authorize more than $105 billion to the FAA and $738 million to the National Transportation Safety Board to address the nation's shortage of air traffic controllers and implement technology to reduce the risk of runway collisions, among other measures. To keep our skies safe, our airports safe, our federal employees taken care of. In the last year, there have been a handful of incidents where planes nearly collided on runways at major airports across the country. Last month at Reagan International Airport, a JetBlue plane and a Southwest Airlines plane stopped about 400 feet apart. Part of the issue stems from a massive shortage of air traffic controllers. Last year, Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg said the FAA was about 3,000 air traffic controllers short of their target goals. At a recent press conference, the head of the FAA said they hired 1,500 new people last year, but acknowledged more needs to be done. So we have been doing everything within our power to increase controller hiring. The bill would also force the airline industry to make flying more comfortable and dependable for passengers, such as mandating reviews of airline seat sizes, set a standard for travel credits, and codify airline refunds. I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. And the Senate hopes to vote on the bill by this week. Locally now, a new business in the Tri-Cities is allowing you to take your mini golf game indoors when the weather is not cooperating and it's fit for the whole family. The business held a ribbon cutting on Friday to kick off its big weekend. A brother and sister duo started a business where people can enjoy mini golf and arcade games. This is an adventure the duo has been working on for more than a year, and the business boasts an 18,000 square foot facility, making it the biggest indoor mini golf course in this part of the state. And this week, the DEA could move to change marijuana from a class two drug to a class three, which could make sales easier in the U.S. Even though Washington legalized recreational marijuana almost a decade ago, sales are still considered to violate federal law. And according to experts, a schedule one drug has no accepted medical value and a high likelihood of abuse. Business owners in Washington say they're looking forward to a potential tax break if the scheduling changes, which could save some businesses. The DEA's potential change still has to be approved by the White House. If it takes effect, it'll be the agency's most significant change in policy in more than 50 years. And colleges and universities are holding graduation ceremonies this weekend as pro-Palestinian protests continue across the U.S. Although bre breaking news now, Columbia University has canceled its university commencement following the protests, and that's according to AP News. But Rick Damagella tells us police are cracking down at several universities and clearing out encampments just in time for commencements. This weekend saw universities across America hold graduation ceremonies as well as arrests in the ongoing pro-Palestinian campus protests. In Los Angeles, police cleared out a protest encampment at USC but did not make any arrests Sunday morning, according to the school. The university has called off its main commencement ceremony, citing what the school says are security concerns. The campus has really been on edge for the last couple days, especially with a email that was sent out by President Carol Folt last night expressing that the university was committed to holding commencement, that while it supported free speech, it also had limits. At the University of Michigan, banners with opposing messages flew overhead and some protesters were removed during the school's main graduation ceremony on Saturday. At the University of Virginia, police arrested over two dozen people after they took down tents and cleared out protesters Saturday. That is tear gas, but you can see that there's been gas that has been sprayed as they are moving in, and there is 
fighting in between them. Former Republican Senator Ben Sass, who is now the University of Florida president, called for school officials nationwide to, quote, step up and mind their own shops. You don't get to take over the whole university. People don't get to spit at cops. You don't get to barricade yourselves in buildings. Um, you don't get to disrupt somebody else's commencement. I'm Rick Damagella reporting. And in more political news, this is expected to be a critical week for the future of House Speaker Mike Johnson. Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene of Georgia says she plans to introduce a resolution calling for Johnson's ouster. She's unhappy Johnson pushed through a foreign aid package last month that helps Ukraine, Israel and Taiwan. Many Republicans oppose the push to oust Johnson and do not want to see the conference devolve into bitter fighting. And police in the nation's capital say a man was killed after crashing his car into a White House security barrier. The Secret Service says there is no active threat to the White House, but the driver died at the scene. According to officials, the car was driving at a high rate of speed before hitting the White House gates. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, the walk to end cystic fibrosis was this weekend, and our very own Riley Fitzgerald was there. She tells us all about it when we return. This newscast sponsored by Washington State Department of Revenue's Working Families Tax Credit. This lake is a trout lake. It's time to get ready for fishing. It's a great fly fishing lake. A lot of wildlife, otters, beavers, blue herons. Fly the Northwest over Fish Trap Lake. Yeah, it's awesome. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Tuesday. Have you heard about refractive lens exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. First Alert Weather is our promise, our commitment to you, to keep you and your family safe. No matter where you live in our part of the Northwest, count on Stacy Lee and Apple Valley News Now First Alert Weather. And we're always on your side. Want a family four pack of tickets to Dust Devils Baseball? Turn it Enter right now on our mobile app or click on contest at applevalleynewsnow.com. Fireworks night with the Dust Devils, May 18th. Baseball and fireworks. See you at the game. Welcome to the downtown Yakima Farmer's Market, where we celebrate local produce, crafts, and cultures. We're excited to kick off our season on May 12th at our new location at 15 West Yakima Avenue. Immerse yourself in the vibrant atmosphere of our market, filled with locally grown fresh fruits and vegetables, as well as a variety of handcrafted items. Don't miss out on this exciting event. Join us at the downtown Yakima Farmer's Market, opening May 12th. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful custom arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique, and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. Stop thinking, let things happen, and be the ball. Better yet, see the ball with K2 Vision RLE. K2 Vision RLE. No readers, glasses, contacts, or cataracts. Need a new furry pal? It's Operation Best Friend from Apple Valley News Now. Each Wednesday, we'll feature lovable pets from area shelters wanting forever homes. Operation Best Friend from Windermere Group One and Apple Valley News Now. A manhunt for a substitute teacher accused of killing and kidnapping. A paraeducator accused of being inappropriate with a student. The more boundaries I put up, the more you kind of push it. Do we need better pre-employment screenings for school employees? Protecting our kids. Apple Valley News Now at 6, Wednesday. Next ET. I'm unroastable. Let's go. Everything you didn't see from the Tom Brady roast. I've had a lot of great experiences in my life. This is certainly another one. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. So over the weekend was the Tri-Cities Great Strides Walk to raise money and awareness for cystic fibrosis research. Riley Fitzgerald joins us live now in studio. Good morning, Riley. So you were at this event yesterday. How did it go? Good morning, Jessica. I was at the event yesterday along with last year and it was so much fun. It was definitely a lot more rainy this year. No one could escape the rain. It was projected everyone raised $70,000 this year for research into cystic fibrosis cures. 
And there was a great turnout, even with the rain, with around 18 teams, each one with a cystic fibrosis fighter. The reason I got out this weekend was because of Andrew Holmes. He's a middle schooler in Richland. Since the last time he invited me out for the Tri-Cities Great Strides, he's gotten on a medicine that wouldn't be available if not for the recent research into cystic fibrosis made possible through events like this. Well, with the new medication Tricap, it's definitely improved. And with me being in track, it has definitely changed the perspective for some stuff. Holmes calls the Tri-Cities Great Strides a great community building and engaging event to show support for local people with CF. Plus, Apple Valley News Now's Austin Reed, our evening anchor. Here's a picture of us from yesterday where he joined me because he has cystic fibrosis also and he's taken part in these events in the past. So people can continue to donate to raise money for research into cystic fibrosis and you can find the link at applevalleynewsnow.com. But Jessica, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. And I'm so glad $70,000 was raised. Well, coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, Meteorologist Tiffany Savona will have your first alert full forecast and there's apparently a big warm up on the way. She'll tell you just how warm when we come back. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel protected, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Save up to 23% when you bundle auto and home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. And your Ford dealer is the place to start. With a full lineup of vehicles and available powertrains. Get your ideal combination of power and capability with gas, hybrid, or all electric. But more important than the power you choose is what you choose to do with it. Get 0% APR for 72 months and 2,000 flex by cash on an Escape or up to 3,000 cash on a Mustang Mach-E only at your local Ford dealer. Chill or grill on a new deck from PAR this season. Get a free Makita Bluetooth radio or portable pellet grill with a qualifying PAR deck package purchase of wood, timber tech, or treks. Visit PAR.com for details. PAR, go where the builders go. What are you gonna build? Fresh. Always keep them veggies at their peak. Like a Bosch. Freshness lasts for weeks and weeks and weeks. Like a Bosch. Even little baby greens. Like a Bosch. Taste fresh and remain supreme. Oh. Like a Bosch. Super fridge keeping food fresh. Like a Bosch. Eating more so you'll be throwing out less. Like a Bosch. Stay fresh like a Bosch. With America's most trusted refrigerators from Bosch. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances. Only appliances. Hanging lights is really hard work and takes too much time. Introducing the Star Shower Ultra 9 Laser Light Show. Now with an incredible nine different decorative light patterns for you to choose from that immerse your entire home with thousands of spectacular lights. You can select red and green lights that move like shooting stars or instead have your lights blinking or choose twinkling stillness. Star Shower has an automatic light sensor that will turn it on at night and off in the morning. Plus, it's weather resistant and can withstand freezing temperatures. Temperatures. Call or go online now to order Star Shower Ultra 9 for just $29.99 and ask about how to get the Star Shower remote. All it takes is the press of a button to change all nine functions. Star Shower sells out every single year, so this year there's a strict limit of three per order. This offer is not available on Amazon, so call or click now. Call 1-800-617-3097 or visit Ultra9.com. So call 1-800-617-3097 or visit Ultra9.com now. Next five, Tom Selleck and Lisa Rinna. Plus, we celebrate that very special someone as I Love Mom Week kicks off. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel protected, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Save up to 23% when you bundle auto and home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Operation Best Friend on Good Morning Northwest, sponsored by Wendemere Group One. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It was a rainy weekend across the region, but at least it was beneficial rain. These rain totals, very impressive. Just over the course of Saturday and Sunday, and most of this rain fell on Sunday, Pendleton picked up 1.81 inches of rain. 
just over an inch and a half in Walla Walla, just under an inch and a half in Hermiston. Now, Tri-Cities, we picked up just over a half an inch, and I just looked back at some climate data. The last time we saw over a half an inch of rain in just one day was back in 2022. It was actually on the 1st of November in 2022. That's more than a year and a half ago. Pretty incredible. It's been a while since we've seen this amount of rain in Yakima, really missing out with less than two tenths of an inch. And because most of the rain fell on Sunday, as expected, we actually broke daily rainfall records for yesterday's date, which was May 5th in every location except for Yakima. We are drier this morning and we do have some sunshine out of our Dust Devils camera in Pasco and the Dust Devils baseball game was actually postponed yesterday because of the wet weather and the makeup date is still to be announced. Temperatures are in the 40s for many of us because the wind is up. It's 48 in Tri-Cities, 47 in Connell, 46 in Prosser, 38 in Yakima and Ellensburg. So a little bit colder in the Yakima Valley where the winds are a little bit lighter. Otherwise, across much of the Columbia Basin, winds are out of the south and west, 10 and 20 miles per hour. They'll increase sustained winds between 20 and 30 today. And here are your future cast wind gusts. We could see wind gusts as high as 35, even 40 miles per hour. I think these numbers are a little bit low but it is going to be a windy day all across the region. So watch out for some tree branches as you're driving around and keep two hands on the steering wheel. First alert radar showing that things are quiet after a busy weekend. And here's the setup. We have a second piece of energy dropping in from the north and west. That's going to keep showers in our forecast today with the better chances along the foothills of the Blues and across northeast Oregon. Tomorrow we're drying out as this system finally moves off to the east and we'll get a pattern change Starting on Wednesday, high pressure starts to build in from the coast and we'll see our warm up starting on Wednesday, but really getting into high gear as we head into the weekend. So here's what to expect going forward. This morning will be dry, partly cloudy. A few showers start to pop up around lunchtime. Notice the activity very scattered about with the better and more widespread activity in Walla Walla, Pendleton, Hepner, and Hermiston. That's where we could even hear a few rumbles of thunder. Highs today will be kept down below average. It will be a windy day with showers around, middle 60s for many of us, upper 50s along the foothills of the blues. Tonight, showers finally start to diminish. Notice that the snow cranks up along the higher elevations of the blues and the Cascades where winter weather advisories are in effect. But as you're waking up tomorrow morning, temperatures will likely be a little bit colder into the upper 30s and lower 40s. It will be a breezy day tomorrow, but we'll start to dry out in the Tri-City, 68, 70 on Wednesday. And then look at those numbers. We're in the 80s starting Friday. We can even call this weekend hot. 86 Saturday, 88 Sunday. Yakima, just a very slight chance for a spotty shower today. Windy, that's the big story. Breezy tomorrow and then 70s return with 80s by Friday. Walla Walla, you have a good chance for scattered showers and a few isolated thunderstorms today. Can't roll out a shower tomorrow either. And then we're back in the 70s with better weather by the end of the week into the weekend. Hermiston, 62, 40% chance for some scattered shower activity, maybe even a few rumbles. 66 tomorrow, 70s Thursday, and 80s this weekend. Jessica? Thank you, Tiffany, and we'll be right back with the morning sprint. But first, here's a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, an ABC News exclusive. And they need to get my mom and dad out of the car. Branson Baker and his parents rushing to safety while a violent EF4 tornado tore through Oklahoma April 27th. The strong winds knocking down a tree, landing on their family truck. Branson, the only one able to get out, rushing for help to rescue his injured parents. And this morning, that nine-year-old hero is telling his story exclusively to GMA. Uh, as soon as I went to go get help, I said, don't die. Branson sprung into action really quick. For him to run as fast as he did, as hard as he did, he's a very courageous son. For a nine-year-old boy, not many adults would have done what he did. We'll have much more of this exclusive interview coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Andrew Dimber, ABC News, New York. With wet AMD, I worry I'm not only losing my sight, but my time to enjoy it. But now, I can open up my world with Fabismo. 
Vobismo is the first FDA-approved treatment for people with wet AMD that improves vision and delivers a chance for up to four months between treatments, so I can do more of what I love. Vobismo works differently. It's the only treatment designed to block two causes of wet AMD. Vobismo is an eye injection. Don't take it if you have an infection, active eye swelling, or are allergic to it. Treatments like Vobismo can cause an eye infection or retinal detachment. Vobismo may cause a temporary increase in eye pressure after receiving the injection. There is an uncommon risk of heart attack or stroke associated with blood clots. Severe swelling of blood vessels in the eye can occur. Most common eye side effects were cataract and broken blood vessels. Open up your world with Vobismo. A chance for up to four months between treatments with Babismo. Ask your doctor. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.53. We'll get to your first alert forecast in just a moment, but we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. Starting off, the Central Basin investigative team has released the name of the man who was involved in a shooting in Moses Lake over the weekend. Authorities say 37-year-old Zachary Stockton is facing charges in a shooting at the Moses Lake Motel 6, and one officer was hit by gunfire, and Stockton was also hit. Both of them were taken to the hospital. The officer underwent surgery and is in recovery. Stockton was treated, released, and taken to the Grant County Jail. A Kennewick man will spend the rest of his life in prison after being found guilty of 11 counts of rape in the first degree and other charges. 28-year-old Brandon Jones has been sentenced to 226 years in prison. Prosecutors praise the bravery of the testimonies from 10 of Jones's victims, saying they had talked about the most terrifying moments of their lives in front of Jones during the three-week trial. The Richland Police Department is asking for your help in finding the driver responsible for hitting a man with their car and leaving the scene. This happened Sunday morning just after 1.30 on Columbia Center Boulevard and Tap Teal Drive. The man was found in the road and suffering severe injuries, including a head injury. If you have any information on what happened, call dispatch at the number on your screen. Area law enforcement agencies want you to be aware of several phone scams that are being reported around the region. The scammers are calling, telling people they missed jury duty. The caller then says in order to get it cleared up, the person must pay thousands of dollars. Another scam is the warrant scam where callers tell people they have an active warrant for their arrest out and they must pay money or face being arrested. If you get any of these calls, hang up. A regional animal rescue organization says it cannot take on any more pets at this time due to space and volunteers. Mikey's Chance says it's struggling to keep its doors open. You have seen this group featured on our Operation Best Friends segment. The animal rescue says it cannot take in any more pets because it just doesn't have the space or the volunteers to handle more than what it has now. And the rescue says trying to come up with the money to pay for boarding and vet bills is leaving it drained of resources. This is also happening with the Yakima Humane Society, and they need your help. The shelter says food donations are very much needed right now, especially for its pet pantry. It operates strictly off donations, and the shelter will also now be open seven days a week, adding Sundays. And new this morning, Pasco native Tiffany Smiley, who ran against Senator Patty Murray in the 2022 election, is now seeking a seat in Congress. Smiley announced this morning she's running for Washington's 4th Congressional District. The district covers parts of eight counties, including Benton, Franklin, Yakima, and Grant. She says she wants to fight for veterans and their families as a top priority. And we're taking a look at our first alert radar. Things are quiet as of right now, especially compared to yesterday, but I do think we will see some shower activity develop later this afternoon. We are seeing the sunshine out of our Dust Devil Sky Cam in Pasco. So it's a nice start to the day, especially after a rainy Sunday. Temperatures are down into the 40s and 50s, so it's still jacket weather out there. It's 51 in Tri-Cities, 46 Walla Walla, 46 in Prosser, and 42 degrees in Yakima. The winds are already up out of the south and west, especially across the Columbia Basin, anywhere between 10 and about 20 miles per hour. A little bit lighter in the Yakima Valley and the foothills of the Blues, but those winds are going to crank up for everyone. Today, winds will be out of the southwest 20 to 30, sustained, gusting up to 40 in some spots. The wind, the big story today, other than a couple of showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder, 66 degrees, a rather cooler than average day. Tonight, showers diminish, but we're still breezy as temperatures drop into the 40s. Tomorrow, we're looking drier overall. Tri-City, still breezy, 68, 70 Wednesday, and then look at that warm-up. We're talking about highs in the mid to upper 80s. Yakima, slight chance for a shower today. Breezy tomorrow with 80s, mid and upper 80s by the end of the weekend. What a big difference from last weekend to this upcoming weekend, Jessica.
Tiffany, I'm excited for those 80s that are coming up. Well, thanks for waking up with us and watching Good Morning Me Northwest. Too. Local news is back tonight at 5, and you can always find updates on our website. Have a great day. We will see you tomorrow.